60. Weedy Weekend 60. The one that almost got away. I say that because I'm I'm having uh, my roughest weekend of 2016. I spent yesterday morning in the hospital. My, actually, a fair amount of yesterday. I got out about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock. Uh, my depression has hit pretty hard. I think it a lot of it has to do with me going off of all pharmaceuticals. Perhaps I should have stayed on the one that handles the depression. I don't know. Doctors, doctor was with me on Sunday and doctor uh, uh, Saturday and doc, I'll be at the doctors tomorrow. I will report more and actually do a separate one. All about pharmaceuticals. Once I know more, understand more, feel more. I'm spending today researching and trying to make the decision, do I go back? That is not what Weedy Weekend's about, but it this preamble was required. You need to know what's happening with my life because a lot of you follow because of that. You are on my journey. You are watching my journey. It's not the Truman Show. It's the Birch Show. Cheers. That there was some CBD to help the mood, to help the, the body. Because I'm in a lot of pain today. Sitting. I can't believe it. Our, oh, I, I have to do a whole separate one on this, but our emergency, uh, our healthcare system, oh, they looked after me, but it was just kind of ridiculous. A lot of things to complain about. But that's not what Weedy Weekend is either. Let's go back. Let's go back. First story of the week. I had quite a few stories. I had quite a few compared to last week, but I cut them down because a lot of them are repeats or or this state might do this and stuff like that. I just want to bring you real stuff. And the first real one is kind of interesting. Not my favorite company, Microsoft. Uh, but Microsoft has taken a step that most other large companies wouldn't do. And they are integrating into their system systems to support cannabis. It's a good story. Uh, you know, they have developed a uh, startup kit, a, a, a database tracker to help dispensaries, growers, etc. deal with the regulations that are within the government right now in following from seed to sale. An interesting point of sale, a uh, new type of software. And to quote them, we do think there will be significant growth, said Kimberly Nelson, the executive director of state and local government solutions at Microsoft. As the industry is regulated, there will be more transactions, and we believe there will be more sophisticated requirements and tools down the road. Very smart move of Microsoft. Uh, I'm surprised Google didn't grab it first. Very smart move. This this is, we're starting to even see intra-country, you know, uh, I reported it last week, Tilray selling to Cro medical to Croatia. Intra-country transport of medical marijuana. This is getting big. This is a big industry and it's just going to explode. Good on Microsoft. Shall we cheers, Microsoft? I have a hard time cheers in such a big company, but I will have a little bit of a deep chunk and cheers all of you as we move closer to full fully legalizing this plant. Cheers. Beg your pardon. Sorry about that. You may not see the depression, and I'm 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 hoping I'm hiding it well. The next story is not a story. It's just check below. It's a 
speech by an ex-NHLer, Darren McCarty, as he spoke at Cannabis Lift, how cannabis has not only changed his life, but saved his life. And at nine minutes in, he says what so many of us older people say, I don't get high, I maintain. That's all we want in life is to maintain a status quo, a symbiosis. Uh, uh, um, you know, we just want to be as even keeled as everyone and we're not. Next story, uh, cheers to him, cheers. Like I said, this won't be a long one. I don't feel well today. This one upsets me. More, more raids in Toronto. Four more dispensaries shut down. And according to the police chief, if you have dispensaries that are open, your chance of going to court and being charged are very high. I have mince words on this, he said. It's illegal to sell marijuana unless you have a license from Health Canada. That is such a myopic, an internal view of this situation. He can't open himself up to the fact that the court said the current situation, yes, it's currently illegal, but the current situation isn't supplying to the people and the government has yet to move on that and the people need their stuff. So fuck you. The Here's a statement from uh, one of the dispensaries, Queen Street West Storefront. Uh, the public supports these businesses. The police are working against the public interest and causing harm where no harm is being caused otherwise, she said. We beg the Toronto police to stop their enforcement. They are. They're causing harm where no harm is caused. Yes, a law is being broken. Laws are meant to be broken when they are unjust or, as is the case right now, considered defunct by as yet to be provided future legislation. These laws will, yes, they are currently illegal, but the laws governing this will change. So those laws should be defunct or put on the shelf. That kind of thing really bothers me. I'm going to have a little bit of a hash here with that. Dabbable hash. It really bothers me because there are no people being hurt by the sale of medical marijuana through dispensaries, whether legal or not. Nobody is being hurt. Kids are not getting, they can't prove it. They, the, no kids are getting access. In fact, as one lady put it, shutting down the storefronts in her neighborhood pushed those people made it so that there were the, so those people only have one place to sell back in the parks and the street where she wants her kids to be safe if anything these are these actions are causing public harm period the next story is the Leafly List. I have shared it before. The Leafly List lists British Columbia dispensaries from 1 to 100 or something like that. Top 100. Quite a while ago, uh, I announced that my favorite, MMJ Total Healthcare, was number 9. Last month, they were number 2. This month, they are number 1. And they're... Uh, under what people are saying, they have my quote. This store is so bright and positive, it is no wonder that it reflects the people within it. Probably the most positive shopping experience I have ever had, over and over and over again. Believe me, MMJ, Total Healthcare, great place. Check them out, tell them I sent you. You'll get 20% off your first order. We move on now to another disease that has been found to be helped with medical cannabis. Uh, there's going to be a bit of noise for a second. Cookie, I'm on the video. Now, atheros, 
atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a complex inflammatory disease that plays a significant role in the development of heart disease and stroke. In the United States, heart disease is the leading cause of death and claims more lives than cancer. We typically think heart disease and stroke can hit without warning. Actually, these diseases develop gradually over time. But cannabinoids, expression of CB2 receptors in the cardiovascular system, such as myocardial cells, blood vessels, and smooth blood cells, are now confirmed. Studies have reported variations in the expression of CB2 receptors in carotid Corroded arteries, plaque among stroke and asymptomatic patients. Therefore, CB2 receptor expression and signaling appears to be a proactive response against acute and chronic pathological events. Definitely, both THC and CBD when you're talking CB2. So... That is a really strong positive in another disease, another area of the heart, something that is really close to me. My brother has just had another difficulty with his. Bless you, brother. Let's move on. Introducing. This is the last story of this. Yeah, only 11 minutes in. I know Weedy Weekend is usually a lot longer. Sorry, folks. Please don't be upset. This is introducing the Medical Marijuana Research Act of 2016. Representative Earl Blumenauer and also Representative Andy Harris have developed this bill to put in front of the DEA and FDA to force them into studies. I will quote this and you can read the story. This bill would essentially give the government no choice in the matter. They will have to approve medical marijuana research applications as long as they meet certain criteria. The only way it would not be approved is if it were not in the interest of the general public. But they will not be able to make that decision without good proof that it won't benefit anyone from the sound of it. This bill also allows cultivators outside of the Mississippi Federal Cultivation Site to provide cannabis and also calls for production of seeds and immature plants as well. So if they won't reschedule, make the schedule benign. That's basically what this says. Is this says, let's, the problem is they won't reschedule because they say there's not enough blind study, solid proof out there, but whenever anyone wants to do one of those studies, they can't because it's schedule one. This kills that catch-22. This allows a lot of studies to go forward, and studies are, they're just coming in like crazy. So that is a really, really positive step forward. I know I shared a story about supposedly there's a, a rumor, a conspiracy theory that DEA may reschedule August 1st. I'm not even including the story. Enough people said it wasn't right, but... You just never know. You just never know. They would not announce it ahead of time. Because rescheduling would mean a whole bunch of people got to be let go from jails. That's a difficult thing. Wow, am I tired. <laughs> okay, my friends, that was your stories for Weedy Weekend 60. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I did my best. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. May that force of whatever drives you be with you.